Bill, one of the calmest members of our team. Something strange is clearly going on at the Chuffs Hotel. Our guest, David Bull, had entered our investigation in a sceptical frame of mind, and spending time alone in the building's notorious attic was something he really didn't want to do. But in the end, he bravely agreed to go it alone. Initially, nothing happened, but after nearly half an hour in the attic, David genuinely began to feel that he might not be alone after all. I don't know if it's me, but <coughs> um, I'm convinced I just saw something. Um, like a figure whew, darting across the room. Um, but I don't know if it's me, I don't know if it's because it's late. But I didn't like it very much. Um, it just kind of went across here, down here. Uh, oh, I felt really weird. Yeah. Um, I think that's enough, thank you very much. I'm out of here. Our night in Somerset had been fascinating, as well as very unnerving. Our guest David Ball strongly believed that he experienced a very unusual sighting in the attic. The night was dominated by unexplained sounds and uncannily our mediums Derek Okora and Ian Norman both sensed the presence of a small disabled boy in the children's bedroom. We have monitored all of the rooms throughout the 24 hours that we have spent here, although no other unusual sights or sounds were recorded. I think our visit to the Chuffs Hotel has certainly been worthwhile. But how did the crew feel, and in particular, our first-time investigator, David Bull? There's a ledge, sort of the white freezer thing, and I was convinced that there were people watching me from behind that thing. And every time I looked up, they disappeared down again behind there. And then, quick as a flash, I believe I saw like a trail of smoke leap down from the top of the chiller cabinet to the bottom of the floor. I looked to see where it had landed and it moved to my right foot and disappeared. But it was like a trail of cigarette smoke, although it was almost curled like a snake with the top of the snake's head being like a... I want to say that it was like a man's head with a hat on, which I know sounds really weird. I'm out of here. What started out to be a, a rather mundane investigation starting to get quite interesting. There's um, something wrong with the walk and the ability. The, the child has a disability. Who's upstairs? That's not normal. I've never heard that in here before. I don't think I've been in a place where I've heard so many footsteps and bumps and bangs that can't be accounted for. So really heavy thumping and footsteps. What was that? that was just... It's all right. It's all right. Looking at David's vigil, it's quite clear that he is really convinced that he's seen something. Looking at his eyes, looking at his face, he's actually sweating. But remember, this is three o'clock in the morning. He's in a room which is completely dark, and it's a room that he's told this is where people have seen ghosts. So I think, again, his, his expectations are heightened. I remember it's the first time he's been on one of these investigations, so he doesn't really know what to expect. Um, it just kind of went across here. Well, we all thought that people were running across from there, across that way, wasn't it? Scared. It sounded like scared. It's difficult for me, having not been part of the investigation, to fully assess those footsteps, because I don't think the footage fully captures the experience of the people who were there at the time. The people who heard them are fully convinced they came from somewhere where there was simply nobody there. One curious instant is when the freezer makes a rumbling sound in the attic and it scares everybody to death. Oh. And it's curious because the owner claims that he had turned the freezer off before the investigation began. 
Now, whether or not this could simply be the elements in the freezer simply cooling down, it's difficult to say, but it is rather weird. Paranormal activity or just things that go bump in the night? Our investigation at Somerset's Chuffs Hotel has given us all a lot to think about. Until the next time, sleep tight. For a chance to go to the Science Museum's IMAX Cinema for a spooky film in 3D, have a private ghost walk with Most Haunted Live's Richard Jones and spend the night at Langham Hotel, just log on to livingtv.co.uk forward slash competitions and answer this simple question. In the latest series, the Most Haunted team visited which European country that's associated with tulips? A. Switzerland, B. Portugal or C. Holland? But stay tuned to Living TV because coming next, it's Most Haunted Extra.